In the previous lesson, we implemented a feedback comb filter. This circuit can be slightly modified to implement an echo effect, essentially by controlling the length of the delay line as a duration in milliseconds instead of a number of samples, and also by allowing the use of longer delays. A duration in seconds can be easily converted to a number of samples by multiplying this duration by the sampling rate. Sampling rate can be retrieved in Faust by calling the ma.sr variable, which is declared in the maths.lib library. We can reuse the code from the previous lesson and rename the fcom circuit echo. The delay length slider can be replaced by a duration slider whose value will be set in milliseconds. To convert the signal in seconds, which will be needed for the next step, because we're going to multiply it by the sampling rate, we can multiply it by 0.001 to go from milliseconds to seconds. The signal produced by the slider and converted in seconds can be used to compute the length of our delay line by multiplying it by the sampling rate. We just implemented an echo effect. Try to run it and have fun with it, guys. Okay, let's try it. Should we have it. fun, Jan? Yes. Let's have fun. No, not sure, but let, yeah, try it. Try it. Okay, try it more. 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 Okay. Less. Yes, 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 yes. Elvis. 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 Keep in mind that you might get some feedback, of course. <laughs>